Yeah, another thing we have in the app is that you can look at this information in, in different uh, ways. If we scroll back a little bit, I can highlight then that these uh, circles you see on the screen are recommendations that the uh, machine learning engine has detected are good scan positions to continue. So all these uh, green uh, fans you see are doors that have been detected. So the app is helping you to, to guide you through um, the scanning procedure. And there's help when uh, how close you should space the spins. If there is occluded walls, it's going to help you on that. In, in that menu on the top right uh, that has five or six different options while scanning, um, why would you choose one versus the other? First, uh, yeah, first so, what are the options and, and then why would you pick one versus the other while you're Yeah, scanning? so the color shows the type of rooms. Uh, so this can be good to make sure you, you identify the rooms correctly and choose the correct type like bedrooms and kitchens and so on. So it gives a color coded version of the rooms. Uh, the outline is just showing the, the detected. I'm sorry, you went a little bit fast for me. So, and the, I'm going to say the reason it knows that it's a bedroom as, as, as the photographer, I've actually told when it's asked me, what kind of room is this? I've said it's a bedroom. Correct. That's correct. When uh, you do your color coding, it's, it's not that it figured out that it was a bedroom. I, I actually identified as a photographer, that's a bedroom that I'm about to do a 360. Correct. But you can like self-test yourself. You'd be surprised how many times they, we get scans for everything as an office in the whole, in the whole, uh, in the whole scan. Uh, the outline shows the, the walls so you can get like a rough floor plan uh, view of, of the things. Uh, this one, it's called COVIS. It's short for co-visibility. So what you can see here is how the machine learning has connected these two rooms. So there's not a straight connection between those two spins, but actually through a door uh, in this case. And um, yeah, that, that's actually the last one I have on the video. So the last one shows the a textured mesh instead of the um, uh, point cloud, actually, the, the mesh that you would be expecting. I, I guess I should point out for the purpose of, of show and tell today, you're actually doing this off of a video, but this, this is kind of a simulation of what uh, a photographer would see uh, uh, while scanning and then have a choice of whether to look at it as all solid or mesh or outline view, uh, yeah. etc. That's correct. Um, 